Namaste, rookies. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do a jump through. It's a short instructional video. Don't worry if you can't do it. I'm also going to talk about the things you need to do to build the strength to do this practice um, or integrate this into your practice. It's something that we do a lot in Shonda Yoga that we teach here at Loft Yoga Way St. Louis. Um, and I'm one of the Ashtanga teachers here. Natalie Craw asked me to post this instructional video um, from Shanti Yoga Training School. She is uh, one of my yoga teachers. I'm a graduate of that school. And I also want to thank Molly Wisner, who is my Ashtanga yoga teacher um, and really helped me develop this in my practice. So let me just show you what it is and then I'm going to talk, break it down and then talk about how to build the strength to get there. So a jump through is when you're in a downward facing dog right here, like this, your head is dropped, your tailbone is up, your shoulder blades are down the back, you take a deep inhale, exhale, crouch forward, look where you're going to lift your butt, sweep your legs through, and then sit down, and then you fold typically, or take a dandasana, which is staff pose or something along those things. It's jumping through the sit. I'll show you from the front. So I'm in my downward facing dog. I take a deep inhale, Exhale, crouch back, look forward, spring forward, inhale, sit down, and exhale, and fold, all right, or something along those lines. Um, so a couple of things that are really important in this practice, as well as in Ashtanga and most, is um, your bandhas, your breath, and your drizzti. So what's a bandha? A bandha is a lock. Um, where you're engaging. And so the important bandhas um, that you want to engage is your uliyana bandha, which is about right here, a little below your belly button, right? And um, your mula bandha, which is your pelvic floor. So you're engaging. And so when you think about engaging your uliyana bandha, it's almost thinking about hollowing out the belly, not so much that you're posterior, you're tilted, but you're engaging here, you're hollowing out the belly, and then you're squeezing and lifting your pelvic floor. This becomes really important in jump throughs, but actually in most of your practice, because that'll actually keep your low back safe as you engage those bandhas. The breath is the meditative part of the practice, right? So you always want to be inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling, staying with the flow. So the bandhas and the breath help you um, uh, with your meditative part of the practice, as well as with your jump throughs, which are also a meditative part of the practice. Um, and then your gaze or your, your drishti is really important. It's important in yoga in general, but it becomes very important in jump throughs um, because you always wanna look where you're going and where you wanna land, as opposed to a lot of people drop their head and look at their feet. You wanna look where you're going. Um, but before you just like hop up in a jump through, let's break it down into what you can do before the jump through. Um, I call it a, a, a three part jump through and then a two part jump through and then a full jump through, right? And um, just about anybody can do a three part jump through. Um, if they're able to do a downward facing dog, it might be a little bit uh, challenging, but it's okay. And then we'll talk about um, engaging uh, the bandhas uh, so that you can build the strength, right? So if you're in a downward facing dog, tuck your toes, hips up and back, drop in your head, okay? You take a deep inhale, you exhale, you crouch back, and then you look forward and you inhale and you bring one shin to the ground and then the other shin to the ground. Work your hands back on the exhale, Plant them into the ground, straighten your legs on the inhale, and then you exhale and you fold, right? And what I want to tell you is that in this, it's really important to not flex your feet or your toes. I want them always to be pointed. Um, and the reason you want them to be pointed is you want to develop this so that when you do a full jump through, the tops of your feet can sweep through Otherwise, they become like breaks and you could hurt your toes, your ankle or something, and you don't want that, right? So um, you, I'll show that to you again at the end, right? So pointing the toes is really important. Gaze is really important. Breathing is important. And then engaging those bandhas. So let's do that 
three part one more time, right? So I'm in a downward facing dog, dropping my head. Take a deep inhale, exhale, crouch back, inhale, one, and then the other shins cross. Exhale, work your hands back onto your butt, straighten your legs on the inhale, and then exhale and fold, right? Um, so that's in three steps. Let me take it into two steps for you. So it's a little bit different. It's kind of between the three step and then the two step, right? And then don't remember to engage those bondos, right? So in your downward facing dog, you take a deep inhale, you exhale, you crouch back, look forward, inhale, hop to sit, try not to move your hands, press, inhale, exhale, fold, right? So you always want to press and find that lift, even if your butt doesn't come up, find that, that bond. All right, so let me try that one more time and show you. So I'm in my downward facing dog, I take a deep inhale, exhale, spring forward, inhale, pressing in, and exhale. All right, so that's a two part. So you're kind of jumping to sit, rolling over, straightening your legs, and then folding. When you jump to sit, toes are pointed, all right? Last one, the full jump through that I started to, but hopefully it makes sense. And remember, pointing and hopping through. So, in your downward facing dog, take a deep inhale, exhale, crouch, look forward, point the toes, bondas on the inhale, and then exhale, and fold, right? One more, and this time, look at my feet where they're coming, look at my eyes where they're gazing, and know that my bondas, right, my locks, are engaged. Downward facing dog, take a deep inhale, Exhale, crouch, look, spring, sweep, inhale, and exhale. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, just make sure if you're doing the three part or the two part, when you sit down, right, press, engage, all right? And one more thing, when you're looking forward, when you're powering up your arms, really press into your hands, fingertips pointing forwards. Most of you have that in your practice um, from doing chaturangas and down dogs, but that's also really important, um, you know, to, to keep that firming in. Hopefully this helps. Um, I look forward to hearing more about how it's being developed in your practice and come and join us at LOT uh, to do some astronomy. Namaste.